Hello everyone, it is good to be with you again on this Tuesday and we as pastors continue to pray for each of you and uh, know uh, that the Lord is with us and he has continued to work out his uh, sovereign and eternal plan here on this earth even uh, during this unusual time. Uh, this afternoon I want to share from Luke chapter 17 uh, and we read this in verses 5 and 6 of Luke 17. Uh, the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord, that is Jesus, said, if you had faith like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Uh, I share that because I think uh, many of us during this time, uh, our faith perhaps is, is shaken and uh, Whatever we're going through, whether it be uh, the coronavirus or just day-to-day -day life, we at times feel like we don't have enough faith that only uh, if we uh, could believe more uh, that things would happen in our life. And uh, oftentimes this passage is pointed to that very thing, that we need to have more faith, that we need uh, to do something. And that's what the apostles wanted. They wanted that, that faith. They felt like they needed more of it in their life, that they didn't have enough because Jesus had just shared with them in the previous verses about the importance of repentance and forgiveness. And they realized that, uh, again, I think on their own, that what Jesus was saying and requiring of them, that it was not possible. So Jesus gives this answer and uh, it seems like, again, it's something that we must muster within, within us, uh, that we need to have more faith. And, and Jesus shares this story uh, about a mulberry tree. And uh, I actually, uh, I have a mulberry tree in my backyard. And so I took uh, Jesus' words to heart, if you will, and I went out uh, to my back deck and I looked at the mulberry tree and I told the mulberry tree uh, to be uprooted and planted in the sea. And guess what? The tree is still there. Uh, the tree did not move. So did I not have enough faith? Uh, do I need my faith to be increased? Uh, and... I go to Jesus' words again, and I think Jesus is ultimately getting at this in that short, concise answer. He's teaching us that it is not the size of our faith that is important, but is the object of our faith. And who is the object of our faith? The object of our faith is God. And Jesus is letting us know that God is the one that can do such things. God is the one who made the world out of nothing by the power of its spoken word. God is the one who could uh, uproot a mulberry tree and have it thrown into it, the sea. God is the one who does such things. Uh, God is the one who brings us uh, from death to life by the power of the Holy Spirit working within us uh, to give us new hearts, uh, hearts that beat in our life and eyes to see our need for the Lord Jesus and that move us from death to life, that move us from light to darkness. God is the one who does such things. And Jesus is just reminding us of that. Again, it is not the size of our faith, but the object of our faith. So I just want to encourage you uh, to know that God is at work and he's doing great and mighty things. And again, it just takes a very, very, very small amount of faith for God to work because he is the object of our faith. So let us rest in that and trust in him at all times. Let's pray. Oh, Father, we are grateful for your love for us. And Lord, thank you for your word, which is eternal. And Lord, help us to remember that it truly is uh, not the size of our faith, but the object of our faith. And Lord, may we look to you uh, in faith during this time.
Lord, give us grace. Give our leaders wisdom. And Lord, just in all their decisions and all of our decisions that uh, we would look to you in faith that you would do great and mighty things. And Lord, we know that you are at work even now. Lord, uh, be with our people, be uh, with our congregation. Uh, and Lord, uh, be with our nation, uh, be with this world that you created. We ask for your help. In Christ's name, amen.